Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free in Toulon. My name is Brent and today we are checking out thermal imaging cameras. Now, if you've watched my channel in the past, you know that I do a ton of tool reviews and thermal imaging cameras are probably amongst the top five because of the abilities they allow the end user, the user to actually do with them. And that is seeing through walls to capture temperatures for hot spots electrical testing, HVAC testing, vehicle testing, any type of testing, air leaks, all these really cool things where you can measure temperature on a spectrum and that is the great thing about thermal imaging cameras. But if you go on Amazon you're going to see a ton but some of the top are the Myolesis and then this is Thermal Master. Now if you look at the two cases there is a huge disparity in the size, right? Well, that's what you're going to notice between these two is that they both work with, well, a smartphone right here, but they also are standalone. So they're using the phone's display, really, and they're using all the technology in here. Now, the Thermal Master one, I believe this is the P2, this is the second smallest thermal imaging camera that's out there today. Um, now here's the deal, I don't care about size. It's not about the size, it's about the functionality. Um, but there are a few idiosyncrasies about these. Now, I'm gonna be comparing these two today and I'm gonna go through practical testing. You know, we're gonna look at some of the resolutions and the functionality and maybe that's gonna help you if you're in the market for a thermal imaging camera. These are budget thermal imaging cameras and you're looking at, you know, under 300 bucks, under 200 bucks in a lot of cases. Uh, but let's just go ahead and see what they look like. Now the Myolesi, this one's pretty cool. It's a nice case. You can see it's standalone, so you can just use this, hold it just as it is because it does connect Bluetooth, and this is a S22 Ultra, which is, I think, the largest phone on the market. But if you see, I'm just going to go ahead and stretch this out and put it over top of it. You can see right there, this is how it connects, and it works pretty good. So we're gonna take this off. Now we're gonna check this out. Now if you see this right here, you press this little button, and then that is the camera right there. And that's it. Now it is it is little, it's tiny, and how you have to work with this is you actually have to connect it into the base and this is a small case but I actually can't connect it into the base so I'll have to take off the case of this phone. It's kind of annoying to be honest with you. I, I it, To be completely honest uh, I actually bought a new case that has a thinner bottom just so I could do this test with a case on it because I didn't trust myself to not drop these phones. These phones are ultra expensive. All right. So that's all you do is you plug that in at the bottom. It's a USB uh, connection at the bottom or USB-C. And then once it's connected, you go to the app and then you're able to see it. But looking at just the first look at both of these, you can see side by side, they are very different. This requires a physical connection into your phone. This is a Bluetooth capable. They're both capable of capturing images and they're both capable of capturing video, which is really cool. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna stop this video uh, presenting and we're going to start showing you side-by-side -side functionalities of both of these cameras as I go around and I start to show you some of the differences between the two and what, I guess, that makes a difference for you as the end user. But, let's stop talking, let's start working. And we are recording. Now, as you can see, the Thermal Master is a much larger resolution. And this is as you just turn on the camera. And when we check out the Thermal Master, you're not really getting too much information uh, really out of it, you're just seeing the different colors and the colors represent temperature. So what you actually have to do is you need to go down to the bottom and we need to select the right panel and we need to put the scale on. Now, whenever we put the scale on, it's just gonna show us the sliding scale. Now, 
as we take a look, um, we are seeing right now some temperature, hot temperatures right now. Do you see that? There's some temperatures inside of here. I can see something showing me there. It's it's much clearer. Oh, okay, so check this out. Um, it, you can't see this because this is a cabinet. What I want to do is I actually want to show camera and camera and in order to do that, we need to go both. I'm going to turn on this one. Okay, so this is going to show you what this looks like. And you can't see anything from the outside. And I'm going to try and do camera and camera in here too. Okay, so you can see that. You can't see anything on the outside. But if we take a look here inside you can see there's something super hot on both of these as we can see right there um, we open it up and sure enough look at that we've got a problem we've got a heat gun in here that shouldn't be in there it's almost like somebody put it there on purpose for a video uh, now if I look at these two um, I can see the scales and on the Myla SE, it's actually showing you the low temperature and the high temperature. Then it's got a center temperature there. And it's always showing you where that's at in the picture. If you look at the Thermal Master, well, let's just say you've got to go by the colors. Now, that's not to say it can't show that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn off this, the camera camera. Let's go back to pure thermal. And what I need to do is go over to our temperature settings. And in order to get where the Myolis is at, I actually need to click on the rectangle and hold on. And wherever in the rectangle is, now you'll start to see those temperatures and it'll show you just like the Myolis is, but you have to create the area in order for that to happen. And let's just see here we're pr we're pretty close at this point and i'm seeing you know 91 degree temperatures 89 91 so it's pretty pretty accurate through there but if we're really going to take a look at this and we we want to show what this looks like then what we need to do you saw the picture in picture you can change the um, passivity of the actual camera uh, you can change different colors too. So if we want to go to different gradings through here, let's just see. All right. So both of them have multitude of different types, you know, and I'm just going to click through a few here to show you, you know, what this looks like. Um, to be quite frank, you know, I'm, I, I am pretty standard, um, the Thermal Master has got so many different ones, but the red seems to do pretty well for me, and it's what I've been used to over the past few years. But the usability of it um, is pretty simplistic with the Myolesi. It's just something that you should you should be able to see. Resolution is better with the other one. Now, what I would like to do from here is let's just record a video to show you what the video looks like. I'm doing a screen record right now, but now I'm gonna show you what a video looks like from the actual cameras. So now I am actually recording the camera. Here we'll see how this comes out at the end. Oh, look at that. Bet you all didn't know that's what your freezers looked like. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's continue down the way here to an electrical panel, as you can see through here. I'm showing the reflectivity of the heat off the steel to my body. Let's open this up. Put them both together here. Okay, you can see kind of cool right you can't see any of that um, <laughs> not nothing like that but it looks like I've got some heat going in here let's take a look at that in that top top area 
and uh, that's my second breaker. So yeah, I've, I've got some heat. I am pumping some heat. That's probably my dryer, I guarantee it, but it's not really too hot, and you know, I'm pretty happy with that. So I stopped the recording. Uh-oh. Got to go back to the camera. That, that was kind of weird. I wonder why that happened. Got to go back to the camera here. And we're back. I'm going to try and get back to where we were. I have to put the scales back on. All right, so we got the scales back on. You can adjust your brightness. You can adjust just about everything. You can do points uh, for... If you really want to show what those points are, you can do up to, I believe, three for the P2, which is through the Thermal Master. That's kind of cool. You know, you can show your points. You can show lines. And I'm going to be honest with you, they, they both have very similar things uh, going on with them. And uh, you can actually, here it is right at the top here. Um, you can you know, throw lines over on this other one too, but, um, that's, you know, that's, that's not something that I really worry about these lines going through here, showing the average temperatures in the both. I'm just going to really click that off because it you know, just doesn't, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, however, what I want to see for mine is really, you know, what is simple and simple to me is the best thing for me. Oh, what do I have? looks like I have some stuff back here that's hot that's weird ah uh, okay see what that okay that's ducting and it's actually reflecting the heat um yeah it gets me paranoid looking at this so i think the mylissi is uh, much more simple but i think you got a little bit more options here with the uh thermal master and let me just show you so right now i can show you in the degree and scale like if I want to sh show the high and the low, everything else will be grayed out. So if I set this, and I, and I want to change this, and let's just say anything below, let's say, I don't know, 60. No, nah, let's do, let's do 77, and up here we'll do, we'll do 78, right? Point and we will confirm this and then anything that's within those specific temperature ranges it'll show you a temperature of them and uh, everything else you know it'll be different so i'm going to broaden that scale just a little bit you start to see some of this other stuff change a little bit more you can see what that is but i'm going to be honest with you i don't I don't really use it that much. Um, I kind of don't think I would ever find myself using that, but just taking a look at both of these right now, um, you know, I, I, I've just got to say, I think I think that my Alyssi is, is not as great re resolution. Uh, I don't think it has as many options, but the user ability of it is pretty neat. And you can take it off uh, and you can set it into different areas considering it is Bluetooth, but you do got to make sure it's charged and everything like that. But I do got to say, if we are taking a look at temperatures and, you know, where the heat is and you, you really want to show uh, what you can do, and let me just show you here so you can see what that looks like. Uh, this is this is okay, but this is still using the camera. It's not using the phone, I don't believe. So the resolution is pretty bad there. Um, this is using the actual camera. So, you know, it's a bit different there too. So um, a, a little bit different, but, you know, still there. Still has a lot of the same abilities. If I want to go here, you can actually... Uh, hold on, where's it at? There we go. So you can see the overlay... This is kind of cool. This is the overlay uh, that you can do on the Mount Lissy. But like I said, if you're going to do temperatures and you really want to take a look at these things, this is where you want to be. This is how you need to use it. So let's jump back and let's close this video out. Okay, that is a comparison of these 
to thermal imaging cameras. Now, technology has come a huge distance from where we were in the 90s, where we were in the early 2000s. That's when I got really, uh, I would say, exposed to thermal imaging cameras. So when I was managing buildings, I'm a building engineer by trade and I went to college for a few other things, but I really humbled myself back to my trade, which is engineering. And whenever we had to maintain the buildings, we would do thermal scanning of all the panels because we had to find the hot spots and we had to make sure that we caught the problem before it failed and thermal imaging cameras really started the way, but they were huge back then. They were massive. They were like suitcases that you had to carry around. Now it's just this and your smartphone. So either way, you're not going to go bad either way that for any one of these, right? Uh, it, you're really not. These are really good thermal imaging cameras. This is tiny and it goes right here in this little bitty case right here. Just a little little pup just goes right in there so if you're prone to losing things you you probably don't want to lose this one because that's an expensive thing to lose right there right uh, this one a little bit easier um, you can disconnect it you know it has its own benefits to being disconnected uh, even mounting to the phone it was kind of interesting uh, mounting it to your phone you can just hold it like a regular phone whenever this is mounted it makes it a little little more difficult to uh, move the phone around however I hope that you all found this helpful in some way if you did please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe as well I do a ton of different uh tool reviews and tests and i build stuff and all that great stuff but hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and go try one of these and you're not going to go wrong you're going to be able to find air infiltration coming around and uh in the coldest of cold days where are you losing your heat on the hottest of hot days you're going to see where you're losing the cold air as well. So you're going to be able to tighten your house up. You're going to be able to see electronics in your house if something's running a little bit too hot or what is still on even after you've turned it off. What's stealing power, right? You want to make sure things are actually off. And just in general, just finding temperatures, you're going to be able to see things that you wouldn't be able to see with your naked eye. And that is something that you should really take into account to be inquisitive of the things that are surrounding you and the things that you can't see with your naked eye. And that's very important to understand. My name is Brent. This is Live Free Tool On. Thank you for watching. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Take care.